Hello watchfellas, welcome to my channel and welcome to my desk where I create content, reviews and unboxing of mainly watches in Spanish as well as in English. Today we will be taking a look at one of my own personal grail watches, the Rolex Submariner 116613LV, known as the Blue Sea. Let's start the intro. Whether you love it or hate it, Rolex Submariner is the benchmark of luxury type watches. Although it is not high horology, Rolex does everything well. From marketing to logistics, they set the bar for the watch industry. Without a doubt, Rolex is by far the most valuable and recognized watch brand in the world. In fact, most models they offer do retain their value and in some cases even surpasses by two or three times their retail price. When it comes to the Blue Sea, I often hear people say that the only reason you buy a two-tone watch is because you can't afford to buy a full gold. But what if you don't like solid yellow gold watches? I mean, I know that if you live in certain places like Miami, Dubai, and even Asia, solid yellow gold watches are well perceived. My honest opinion is that uh, yellow gold watches are a bit douchey, but of course that is my opinion. But what if you like the look of two-tone watches? I think this topic is 100% uh, subjective indeed. I must uh, say that I'm not a big fan of two-tone watches, but of course there are always exceptions and the blues is one of them. I uh, purchased this watch as I have always been drawn to the Blue Sea since the first time I saw it advertised on a massive poster outside of an AD store. Once I saw it in person, it only made it easier for me to decide to finally pull the trigger from the way the samples shine and the gilt printing on the dial, the solid 18 karat gold center links and of course that awesome glide lock clasp. All right, enough of me talking. Let's uh, now take a look at this cool piece. Uh, we're gonna start by removing the cardboard sleeve. And as you can see, now we have the uh, classic uh, Rolex uh, cardboard box with the uh, crown on top. And here we have the uh, classic green leather box. Uh, extremely iconic uh, they haven't really changed that for for many many years allow me to move this thing out of the way so we can get going and voila the uh, Rolex Blue here I do keep uh, uh, the contents that uh, comes with it uh, in this case would be the uh, price tag as well as the uh, green super Latif certified tag as well as the uh, vessel protector and here we have the uh, car holder it is made out of, out of uh, leather you can smell the leather actually every time I open this box pretty cool here's the, uh, the warranty manual uh, worldwide as well as the uh, card uh, with the serial number the model number as well on the back, uh, the AD as well as my name, which I did uh, cover it for obvious reasons. And we do have the uh, my, uh, sort of the instructions. Basically, it just shows you um, how to set the time, the date, and so on. I would like to point out that the, this is the uh, 40 millimeter uh, Submariner. This is not the uh, the new one that came out uh, in 2020. So the uh, main differences are 
basically on the printing, the previous model, which is this one. Uh, this one has the gilt uh, printing. The new one has uh, plain white. It, it actually pops out a little more. Uh, and the uh, K size, which is uh, 41 millimeter. And as well as the movement, more power, a reserve. And here we have the clasp. Uh, this is the glide lock system, which I do love. I love the fact that uh, the center leaks are, are made out of uh, 18 karat gold, solid. And the Rolex engraved or laser printed, I'm not sure exactly how it is. Now let's take a look at the uh, the dial. Look at the dial, isn't it, isn't it beautiful? Look at the way it just sunburst. Now the uh, bezel action is on another whole level. The sound of it, you know, the reassuring clicking, uh, in my opinion, is, is the best out in the market. And here's the glide lock system. You can actually adjust it on the fly, you know, on small increments. The tactile uh, feeling on this uh, watch is just amazing. It's superb, in my opinion. Uh, just look at that dial. I just love it. And uh, actually, I'm going to show you guys what I'm wearing today. Today, I am wearing my Pan, my Panerai Pan uh, 1111 or Triple One. Pretty cool watch. I will eventually do a review. I really like that watch as well. But going back to the Lucy, I think this is one of my <laughs> one of my favorite watches. I know I say that a lot, but uh, this one is just beautiful. And uh, now I will uh, give you guys a wrist shot. Uh, let me just move uh, my Pan 111. And here it is. Here it is on my seven and a half inch wrist. It works very well. In fact, this is one of the watches that uh, that are the most comfortable in my collection. Uh, beautiful watch. I mean, I, I, I can't express that enough, but uh, it is indeed a, a beautiful watch. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I think this is uh, pretty much it. I hope you guys like this review and unboxing, and I hope that you keep watching my content. Uh, if you can do me a favor and like this video, and why not subscribe, it doesn't cost you a penny, it will be greatly appreciated. Thank you, and have a good one. Take care.